So this video is how to set up the app Here Comes the Bus on your mobile device. So like many parents, our kids ride the bus. What this app will allow you to do is to track your bus when it's near your bus stop, when it's time to either pick up your child or when they're being dropped off. Now we live in Tampa, Florida, and recently within Hillsborough County, they're using the app Here Comes the Bus to help parents notify when that bus is approaching your bus stop. So in this video, we'll do two things. We'll go ahead and install the app, and then I'll give you some advice on what to do in the event your child's bus stop is not located within the app. So first thing we'll do is go to our app store. We'll do a search for Here Comes the Bus. Now here's the app on the iPhone, and if you had an Android phone, you will get the app from the Google Play Store. So we choose Get. We'll go ahead and do my Face ID so we can install the app. So at this point, we hit Open. So I hit allow to send me notifications. So here I have the option to enter in a school district code. For my location, that being Hillsborough County, that district code is gonna be 72 or 75255. But note your location outside of Hillsborough County will be different. Now I do have an account, but I use a different email address so we can show you a new account setup. So here I can see that I can sign up. So I'll hit continue. So in my case, I do have the code. So I'll put my email address. So first name, last name, and then school district code 75255. We'll go ahead and accept the terms and I'll hit continue. So now we're confirming that this is for Hillsborough County. Hit confirm. So that wants me to create a password. So make sure you pick something secure. Hit confirm password. So I have thank you here and I should get an email. So here we have my email. We'll go ahead and activate my account. Remember, if you don't have the email or don't see it, to check your spam folder. So now it brings me to the site. Here's my email address. I'll put in the password that I created. And then at this point, I hit login. Here's where I will add my student. So I'll hit add, student last name. You definitely need your student ID or your child's student ID. So once you have the last name and the student ID, we'll hit save and then your child's name should appear right there. So now going back to my mobile phone, we'll go ahead and hit login. We'll put in my password, hit login again. So here I can put in the name of my device. So here if I go to students, you should see your child listed here. If I go back to the menu, hit map. Now I'm getting this warning because my child's already home. You will be able to see your bus before it comes to pick up your child or before your child is being dropped off. So let's go to notifications. And here you can enter in a notification radius. So here we have a student. That should be your child. The bus stop that your child will be picked up and dropped off at. And then the radius of when you want an alert. You notice the maximum that you can set is one mile. I hit save, so we're good there. If I go back, I can also set up notification rules. You have your child there. What type of notification would you like? And you can see here we have several different options. And you can decide to either get notified via the app on your phone or via email. And whichever one you choose is entirely up to you. So let me show you some notifications that you would see. So here's a notification that you would see once the bus is really close to your stop. So this would be your push notification. Now you also have the option to get that same notification via email. And if you get either or, you're pretty much good to go. Initially, I was getting the problem where my child's bus would never show up within the app. I could never see it coming or going. So eventually I logged into the web interface and I saw this error right here. For my child, no stops found for student. At that point, I decided to contact customer service. Now this error since has been resolved. In fact, if I go to the web app or web page, let me go to my account. So under map here, we can see that we have information there. So her name, her school stop, when it's scheduled to be picked up or dropped off. And previously when I couldn't see any information there, that data wasn't there before. It's this message saying no stops found for student. So in the event you have that same error, you want to go to the website. Here comes the bus.com. Go to contact, scroll down a bit. I am a parent. And here is where you can submit a request online and they can help you with any issues that you may have. Now, it will be helpful to include the following information to help expedite things. So your student name, 
your student's ID, the bus number, along with what time of day we have the issue. So my dialogue with well, here comes the bus, they had to contact the transportation department to resolve the issue. But fortunately, it was resolved within a couple of days. All right, I hope you find that helpful. Have a great day.